Hey, welcome to the May. May selections of the Why of the Month Club, Ed. And just for the sake of all our friends out there in wonderful wine land, what were the selections from May of 1979? Uh, San Martin Soft Chenin Blanc. An interesting term, <clears throat> What's soft. What does that mean? Well, it means it was sweet, okay? <laughs> That's what well, it means. <laughs> you know, it was softer. It didn't, it didn't have the sharp edges of acidity, that kind of nonsense. And the Villa Calcina, 74, Chiani Classico Reserva. Colchinaya. Colchinaya, whatever. Uh, but it was a Reserva. A Reserva in the Classic Series. In a Classic Series, which was like seven bucks or a Reserva is <laughs> like, what, 20 months in oak minimum or something? No, 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 it's not that much, but uh, it, it, it's it's in wood. It doesn't have to be necessarily it's oak. wood. Yeah, you know. Of course, that was uh, back in the day when you could put all kinds of stuff in Chianti as well. Well, no, 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 it wasn't. As a matter of fact, um, it, you couldn't, you had, you had to put in two, at least, Two whites. Right, they had yeah. whites back then. Yeah. You can't, you, yeah. this, those are no longer part of the formula. No, they're not. And that was a smart move because they weren't done, being done anyway. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, it's like, I mean, I went to taste things where I go, there's no white grapes in there. They go, no, there isn't. <laughs> yeah, well, typically. But be. that's, you know, those are the Italians. 1979, Ed, that was a long time ago. In fact, uh, well, let's see. Let's I see. probably wasn't working in the store then because I would have been at school. I wasn't working at the in the store then either. No, <laughs> I was working in my printing company, printing stuff for your dad. As a matter of fact. <laughs> oh, so you're responsible for that? Yeah, some of it. Thank you, thank you. And for my next trick, and now we got it. Hey, <laughs> now we're for the next trick. I'm gonna gargle Bordeaux for the Vintner series of May. 2019. Uh, 2019. 2019. How did it be 2019? May. Wasn't it just the millennium? You know, I mean. I don't know. I don't know. I can tell you one thing. I've had some interesting conversations with a lot of marketeers, digital marketers and stuff. And the one thing that's for sure, what was working yesterday ain't working today. And what's going to work today is going to work tomorrow. I everything's I moving so fast. I don't know about you guys, but I have I have gotten on so many websites that took me somewhere that I wasn't supposed to go because somebody screwed up and put the wrong link on there. I can't believe it. I mean, the quality of, of it's stuff crazy. is crazy. It's really, absolutely crazy. Yeah. In fact, I got an email this morning from <clears throat> influencer people. They're like, it's the Wild West out there. I'm like, I've been saying that for two years now. Oh, this is... Now, you know, they said 14. This is Chateau Vieux Valois. Valois, Chateau Vieux Valois. They said, you know, 14 wasn't the great vintage, 15 is great or whatever, but there are some really good 14s. You know, I, I wrote, I've written that like twice now when I write about Bordeaux. That is the vintage to get your hands on because it sits in the shadow of 2015. No question, 15, phenomenal vintage. Absolutely phenomenal vintage. But the 14s are every bit as good as if they're half the price. They are. I mean, they're half the price because nobody wants, oh, we don't want 14. We want 15 now because 15 is like cool and 14 is, you know, too young to drink. That's ridiculous. They opened the Buku du Cairi. Buku Bukayu. Buku Bukayu. Here, I'll do the I'll 14. Do the French if it was really mind. good. <laughs> well, I, really yeah, good. but now you're talking about a second growth board. Oh, come on. I mean, that's a different story. You're in a different world here. Speaking of that, one of the uh, <clears throat> podcasts you're going to hear on Wine Talks with Paul Callum Carrion <laughs> is with the proprietaire, Monsieur Jean Paul Bignon, who owns uh, Chateau Talbot. Oh. Big deal wine. And what an interesting guy. Big deal wine, yeah. Great wines. He says, know. I said, how is it that one goes, he's an attorney for 30 years, even practiced in New York. I said, how is it you become an attorney for 30 years and you end up being the proprietor of a classified growth? He goes, you marry the right person. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. Because the, the tax laws in France are so crazy. You think tax laws are bad here. You go to France, you go you go out of your mind. You know. Anyway, this is... Uh, for $20, I thought it was a, is a really good price. value. Yeah, for $12.99, it's another stupid price. Bordeaux. Another stupid, it's Bordeaux. It's, it's, a, it's Bordeaux. a chateau. Yeah. In order to say chateau on the Bordeaux bottle, it has to be a chateau. It has to be a real place. You so can't, you know. It's just, I thought it was great, great value. I forgot who brought this in for us. Um, oh, it's, what's her name? What's yeah, her Claire. name? Claire. Claire, well, it's phenomenal. Yeah. It's absolutely delicious. Now, wine. see, Claire's a wonderful French lady who grew up in Champagne. She lives in, she actually lives in Corona right now. But she brings it, she, she sources just for us. She'll go to France, she'll go to uh, the big tastings, and she'll source wine just for Wine of the Month Club. And this is one of those wines. Well, it's it's an amazing value, 97 points for me. I mean, mm-hmm. it, it's Bordeaux. It, it's, Bordeaux. It's, it's Bordeaux, you know. I ju- <clears throat> Easy for you to say. I agree. E- evidently, it is. Okay, this is another stupid thing. <laughs> you know, this is, this is truly... Um, you know, 
the benefit of being in this business as long as we have and knowing the people that we know that when they've decided that they need to <clears throat> move some merchandise and sell it to a reputable organization that's going to pay the bills and not butcher the pricing in the sense of get it to the whole market, we get the phone call. And this is exactly what this is. Uh, peak pole is typically it, around man. 20 bucks, which this one on the shelf would be, and you can get this for 12 99 But peak pole is just a fun wine. You're not going to see it everywhere. And this was on the water, and the guy calls me. He says, I got these cases coming in. I got to move them before they get here. I don't know why I ordered so much. Can you help me? And, like, and being such a nice guy, you helped him. I helped him. him. Yeah, yes. you helped him. After I talked him down a little more. Well, of course, because otherwise you're not going to be able to But it's such it. a great story. It's such a peak pool, uh, the, the grape. Uh, you know, it's it, almost all the wines that, out of there are, are made at, at, a, at one co-op. I mean, and so it's kind of strange that, you know, that, that that's the situation. But now we're seeing small estates cropping up that are making state-bottled peak pool. And... In some cases, we've actually featured them. They're really, really good. And they're the same price, so I'm not going to argue. Anyway. So people who play this in the Languedoc, it's uh, 100% peak, peak pool, yeah, well, which is the be, grape. You know, right? And uh, it's, uh, I, I'm at a 98. This is one of the best yeah. ones. I've, yeah, it's, got such a, it's got such a great character. It's got an old world character, but it's crisp and bright. It's and very food. crisp, very bright. It's got really good forward fruit. I mean, it's just a delicious wine. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Mm. I'll go with that 98. That's really good. Excellent wine. I can see that with some shellfish and don't be shellfish, Ed. Okay, here's a. We did. We have two of these wines on the list. One in the classic and one of the vintners. I mean, one of the vintners, one of the limited. <clears throat> this vintners is a red blend, but it's what fascinated me about it was it's from Oregon. And it's, I think it's Grenache and Cab or Grenache. Yeah, and... yeah, that that was, I remember that being a little odd. You don't see a whole lot of Grenache in Oregon. But no. it's Southern Oregon, so, you know, that's, it's a different world. You know, when you think of Oregon, everybody thinks of the Willamette Valley, which is a very cool, very Pinot Noir, Pinot mm. Gris uh, country. But Southern Oregon, you know, and to the east is, is basically just a few miles from the Columbia Valley in Washington, and it's pretty warm over there, you know. It's mm. in the Rogue Valley. Uh, you just—you surely didn't expect the wine of this complex and that uh, full-bodied from Oregon, even no matter what part of Oregon it is. It's just got tons of length and life. In Why it. wouldn't you expect it from Oregon? What's wrong with Oregon? Nothing. To, but this is a full-bodied mainstream wine in the sense of it's jumping out of the glass. That's well, not always not, the case. It's not Pinot Noir, you know. Oh boy, it's got some nice little nice tannins that come back and bite you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, this is a this is a really fabulous. I mean, you can of smell wine. the complexity in the nose. Unbelievable. I gotta have this with. Uh, There's gotta be Syrah in here. I get Syrah. There's Syrah for sure. there for sure. Yeah. It's gonna say some game meats or. That's very gamey. Uh, barbecue. Yeah. Well, great with yeah, barbecue would be uh, outrageous. So this wine is mm. um, 19.99 on the shelf, and and you can buy some more for 12.99. It's got acid too, you know. Yeah, it does. It does. It's got tannins because the tannins are you know kind of yeah. getting on your teeth. I mean, it's it's fabulous. I wine. think you lather up some brisket, charred up. Only the point cut brisket. Don't buy that square stuff because it's pretty square. You get the point cut, which is nice and fatty. That's where all the flavor Restaurant is. Depot. Uh, Restaurant Depot has the whole brisket, which yeah. is huge. You know? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm at a 97 on that. Yeah. I think this is incredible. It should be 100 because it's by far the best Grenache I ever had from Oregon. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> the only Grenache, but that's not the point. Okay, Hush Falls are in the room. Oh, yeah. I, these wines. These We've been told not to slide these glasses. I know. I know. I told you that a long time ago. I think, yeah, I think. Uh, these um, I, uh, wines from Portugal that are not port, you know, uh, are absolutely fabulous. From the Dow. Yeah, this is from the Dow, uh, which is in the south. But uh, it's Alvarino, which is made in the north. Mm. Um, near uh, the, that little strip of Spain that goes to the coast above Portugal, where they make Albarino, which is the same grape, but just different smelling. Wow. This is one of those wines that's why I keep smelling it. Yeah. You know, there's a floral component in Albarino that's out of this world. Mm. And it's leaner than the nose suggests. But there's plenty of acid, but I love yeah. this nose. It's like cotton candy and... I don't know. Yeah, it really is. It's delicious. And um, 
you know, these are these wines are relatively it's like inexpensive. It's you know, it's only fourteen ninety nine on the shelf or no, eighteen ninety nine on the shelf, but you can buy more for eleven ninety nine and that's a steal. That's <laughs> you get low quads in this? You know, that's a good the season point. of low quads. Yeah, I think I do. Because it smells like it when you bite the, the 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 seed comes out. Yeah, no, it's delicious. I'm at, I'm at a ninety six on this. I'm ninety seven. Mm-hmm. But wow, really fun. I and mean, that was really fun. Vintner Siri, May two thousand nineteen. Wine people. Wine people. I want your <laughs> wine people. <laughs> That's the Vintner series. <laughs>